are not good so here's what the car looks like so here's what the car looks like after the sealer um, it's all uniform color there's no spots of any primer um, it looks totally flat and it looks really good so um, we're ready to start spraying the lacquer. Um, one final note about that is that because you mix it one part of the actual color to one and a half parts thinner, um, I mean, it seems like I'm spraying a lot of paint. I'm putting eight, I'm going to be putting eight coats on it, but if you consider that when you spray it out, a lot of that volume goes away. Um, it's not as much paint as you would think so we may even decide to go 10 depending on what it looks like um, I'll stop kind of in the middle I'll do four let that stuff really um, flash off let a lot of those uh, out gases to escape and um, then we'll carry on and do four or five more coats after that um, just kind of depends on how it looks so I'm gonna get uh, two of the cups mixed up uh, because from the sealer I went through I did the whole car um, With kind of a short cup what I mean by short cup is just it wasn't all the way full um, It would just kind of fill it up to the uh, gradient marks, but with the lacquer I can fill the the cup all the way up and um, I'll be able to go around it um, one time with one cup so I'll uh, get two cups mixed up and hopefully that'll give me two coats and then I'll mix up two more and that should carry me all the way through. Now, um, I'm basically just going to be going around the car, making laps around the car because it flashes off so quickly that by the time I get around, if I start on one side and I go all the way around, it's pretty much going to be ready for the next coat to happen. So. You've got to really keep track of where you are on the car and how many times you've gone around. And let me tell you, uh, all of the numbers of coats start to blur together. Oh, also, I'm going to replace these uh, cartridges. I do that every single time I uh, spray paint. Um, now, this is acrylic lacquer. 
<laughs> this is acrylic lacquer, not to be confused with nitrocellulose lacquer. Nitrocellulose lacquer has been around since the dawn of time, like all Model T's, Model E's, all those stuff uh, were painted with nitrocellulose lacquer. And all the way through the 50s, they were painted pretty much with nitrocellulose lacquer. Then they started to switch over to uh, acrylic lacquers later on. And you still, through some different sources and suppliers, you can still get some nitrocellulose lacquer. They use it a lot uh, for painting guitars, actually, acoustic guitars, because they say that it actually improves the sound of them. I don't know that that's necessarily true, but it's still pretty cool that people are trying to hold on to um, a lot of these old techniques. And like, unlike um, base clear systems or catalyzed systems, the mix ratio on this is not like. get the booth turned on and uh, get everything stabilized Okay, so we're at intermission on the lacquer paint job. And I want to clarify something. Um, the grand total is going to be about eight coats of lacquer. And um, that's not eight coats on everything. What I ended up doing, and what you should do if you try to make this happen, is um, essentially every other coat goes on the jams and everything like that. Um, so you spray the first coat, you cover everything, jams, edges in around the second coat you do just the surfaces that you're going to polish the third coat you do everything the fourth coat you do just the surfaces you're going to polish okay now um, because lacquer has to evaporate so much you after you spray so many coats you, you really need to let it outgas so that it can get rid of some of that uh, thinner and so I've sprayed four coats and now I'm going to let it sit for an hour um, and let it keep vaporizing off uh, so that all those solvents don't get trapped underneath by the next four coats that I put on it.
Um, on top of that, after an hour, if there's a, a big piece of crap or dust or something inside the paint, you can actually go and now very, very gently wet sand it out and then all the next four coats will cover it. Um, finally, if you kind of look at the car, it, it looks really shiny and there's a, a, some orange peel, but in some space spots, it actually looks kind of uh, dry, like you can see some dry stuff right in here. Um, and, you know, that's just kind of a byproduct of, of lacquer flashing off and getting some overspray um, because I painted this after that half, after I painted this half. So my gun overspray comes from this and then fogs over on top of uh, the driver's side. And that's why you see some of this hazy stuff. You don't need to worry about that um, because when you actually rub it out and wet sand it and polish it, all that's gonna go away completely. So the next four coats is, are gonna go like this. I'm gonna put one coat on all the flat surfaces, the exterior stuff that's gonna be polished. And then the sixth coat is gonna be on everything, jams, hinges, all of this, around everywhere. Seventh coat, just the flat surfaces. Eighth and final coat, is going to be on everything and I'm going to end it with doing the jams so that any overspray from me spraying the jams will then go land on this and then I can color sand and wet sand that out um, as opposed to if I spray the flats then the flats are going to overspray onto the jams and then the lacquer and the thinner air aren't going to melt those in so I'm not going to spray any more paint on it. So all the, none of the jams are going to get polished and it's only the exterior surfaces that are going to get polished. So five hours later, this is what eight coats of lacquer looks like. I've let it flash off for about 20 minutes with the booth running. Um, and you can see kind of the hazy stuff right in there. That's because I painted the jams last and um, all these flat surfaces will polish out. now. One of the cool things is that spare fiberglass right there, and it's supposed to be there um, because they, when they painted it from the factory, it had the hinges in it and they were installed. Now, you can kind of see it looks maybe a little dull, a little hazy, um, some orange peel, but you know, the beautiful thing about lacquer is that it polishes really 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 easy um, and it never really sprays out absolutely like like glass like the high salt's clear you can get those to spray out where there's almost no orange peel and um, it just ridiculously shiny lacquer you have to polish it um, you can kind of see some overspray here and there but all in all looks really really good 
Final temperature by the time we're done, 71 degrees. So uh, we have successfully sprayed and kept the temperature a consistent 70-ish uh, the whole entire time. Um, so now comes the fun part of letting it dry and color sanding and buffing.